warm welcome to the program Agri Today. I am Khadija Oluwatoyi Amin. On the program this week, we shall be taking you through the first Post Harvest Connect conference, which was held in Abuja, Nigeria. The Food Safety for Africa project, in collaboration with the Nigerian Stored Product Research Institute and a consortium of partners, hosted the first Post Harvest Connect conference in Abuja, Nigeria. The conference, codenamed FSA for Africa, project was designed to address and mitigate critical food safety issues threatening the continent with a focus on an informal sector. With approximately 150 fiscal participants and over 30 virtual attendees, the conference aimed to foster collaboration among key stakeholders to address post-harvest losses and promote food and nutrition security in Nigeria. The conference witnessed the convergence of eminent personalities from public, private, and development sectors, including representatives from the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, the African Agricultural Technology Foundation, FS Plus, the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition, and several others. <laughs> Welcoming participants, the Chief Convener, Professor Latif Sani, highlighted the importance of sustainable post harvest management in ensuring food security. Let's take a listen. From the farm to the fork, and this very serious. The fruit and vegetable is another serious one, almost 60% losses. And that is why no matter any seed production we do, no matter any fertilizer we distribute, herbicides, production systems, if we do not strengthen the market end of this value chain, it will just be a dream. And that is the essence of this post harvest connect. It's the first of its kind, and all of us are coming together. Two, it is not new what we are doing. We've done it before. We've, we did it during presidential era under President Obasanjo and uh, so many things. And then, I was a post harvest scientist in IIT under Chief Alfred Dixie when we ran the integrated cassava project in this country. And we strengthened the fabricators. We brought fabricators from Brazil, China, and they trained some of our fabricators. That's why you have Nijiluka Nobel Tech that are taking post harvest equipment to African countries. So ladies and gentlemen, we are about to repeat the same era, working together as a consortium. And that's why I want to thank IITA for funding this activity. I want to thank Sasakawa African Foundation for funding this activity. I want to thank Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition for funding this activity. I want to thank Sahel Consulting for believing in me and funding this activity. And I want to thank all of us for believing in all of us to be here. African Agricultural Technology Foundation funded this activity, and they are also here. I have my senior colleagues that will be the, give the keynote address, Dr. Emmanuel Ekogbeni, and also Lily, who, is, who happens to also be here. And we also have partners from Germany, from Switzerland, that are part of this. They will log in, and you will soon see them. We want to thank all the people that are promoting cold chain systems in Nigeria, and some of them, Isong, all of them are here. And we want to thank the Natural Resources Institute, NRI in UK, whom we also know are expert in post harvest solutions over decades in Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, I will wish you all the best, and we'll be doing this thing annually, and I want to thank you. It is possible for us to harness our resources, post harvest solutions, work together and strengthen ourselves to have sustainable development for income generation, poverty alleviation, and stabilization of our polity as a nation and the region. Thank you very much. Speakers and participants from various institutions, including the Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria, ARCN, the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, IITA, Harvest Plus, and the Nigerian Export Promotion Council, NEPC, discussed strategies for mitigating food quantity and quality losses. Let's listen to them. Of recent judging, from the performance of Professor Peters, Dr. Pesu, and now Latif, 
we know that this institute is moving from great to greater heights. So I want to congratulate you. Personnel that are listed here, you know that NISPRI is standing to be counted. One of the major problems we have in this country is the fact that we have always concentrated our efforts, be it budgetary, on the issue of production. Unfortunately, neglecting the post-harvest activities is costing us a lot. And I think this is the beginning of sensitizing the government, the public, and the farmers to the need for us to actually look at post-harvest activities. Perhaps ARCN being the supervisory body may have to include within the mandate of NISPRI the issue of production losses also so that you'll be able to carry everything uh, together. I'm really very delighted to be here and to partner with this organization. I also want to be very, very appreciative of all our international partners for funding, attending, and ready to give us an insight into what we are expected to do. I welcome you all. Thank you very much, and God bless. Permit me to welcome you to the Post Harvest Connect, the first of its kind in Nigeria. I extend my heartfelt recommendations for your unwavering commitment to scale appropriate post-harvest solutions for sustainable food and nutrition security in Nigeria. I'm also happy that NISPI, the Nigerian Stored Product Research Institute, is taking the lead on this, and I want to commend the senior management and staff of the Institute for such a wonderful gesture. Your dedication to address one of the most pressing issues of our time is truly laudable. By focusing on post-service solutions, we are not only enhancing food availability, but also ensuring that the nutritious food reaches those who need it most. And I have always been saying, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we must produce food in ways that create wealth. And we cannot do it better without the post-harvest interventions and solutions. We are together in all of this. I've been in Nigeria for over 34 years, so you may say I'm in Nigeria now. And uh, I started as a cassava breeder. And when I realized that we were developing all these varieties, but we were not expanding its utilization, I became a post specialist. So I'm combining myself as a breeder and as a post specialist, and I have always been in the midst of post specialists, food technologies, nutritionists, and so on, such that we make sure we provide healthy and nutritious food for Nigerians. Nigeria, like many other countries, faces challenges related to post-harvest in particular and food security in general. By addressing those challenges through sustainable practices such as scaling appropriate post-harvest solutions, we can make a tangible difference in the lives of the individuals and families. Sustainable post-harvest practices not only help in reducing food losses, but also contribute to the overall well-being of communities. By ensuring access to nutritious food, our efforts in producing such practices are crucial in driving positive change and fostering resilience within Nigerian communities. The conference serves as a light of hope 
to inspire others to join hands in the pursuit of a more sustainable future. As we continue to research and provide solutions to address post-harvest losses, please know that our hard work and dedication do not go unnoticed. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to us all on our unwavering commitment to building a brighter, more food secure future for Nigeria. Together, we can create lasting change and ensure that no one goes hungry in our communities. And finally, I say again, we must produce food in ways that create wealth. And we cannot do it better without the post-harvest solutions. And finally, again, I bring you tidings from Sierra Leone, and in particular, the Sierra Leone Agricultural Research Institute, where I'm chair of the board. And let me say we consider Nigeria as a big brother, and I'm here with my contingent from Sierra Leone to learn from you so that it can help us to pursue His Excellency Dr. Julius Mothersbill's vision in the feed salon strategy in making sure Sahelium becomes uh, food secure and also have food sovereignty as a result of the Dakar 2 summit uh, which took place about two and a half years ago. Thank you very much. The guest of honor, Senator Aliu Abdullahi, Minister of State for Agriculture and Food Security, commended the organizers for their efforts and emphasized the ministry's commitment to addressing post-harvest losses. He underscored the importance of reducing post-harvest losses as a critical strategy for ensuring food security with a call for the adoption of suitable success stories to attract investors in post-harvest interventions. In a global food shortage, which has resulted in not only hunger and starvation, but also malnutrition, stunted growth, diseases, and even death. Securing enough food to make it physically and economically available and accessible to provide the energy and nutrients required for an active and healthy lifestyle has thus become a global call. Agricultural practices which do not only provide food but also gives raw materials for industries, national revenue, foreign exchange through trade, and also a source of livelihood to farmers, have in recent times suffered so many challenges, which have largely contributed to food insecurity as we see now. As a result of high level of food losses and wastages, the National Assembly taxed relevant agencies to demonstrate their readiness to forestall this menace. Hence, this national conference and exhibition showcases some of our post-harvest solutions at small, medium, and large-scale levels. Ladies and gentlemen, let me reiterate our commitment to value-added, convenience, and branded food products for domestic regional and international markets. The National Assembly is resolute to enable policy environment for transfer, adoption, and scaling of appropriate post-harvest solutions to our constituencies. Let me end this goodwill message to commend the distinguished Honorable Minister for Agriculture and Food Security and the Executive Secretary, Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria, for their support and encouragement. We look forward to the communicate and details of getting the best post-harvest interventions to all local government areas in our country after this event. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you compliments from the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, bearing in mind our total commitment towards the realization of President Bola Metinibu's We Need Hope Agenda for food security. I am very pleased 
that our stakeholders and collaborators are rising up to the clearing call of reintegration, retooling, reconnecting, and rebuilding as we innovatively transform our agricultural landscape. To this end, therefore, today marks not just the beginning of an epoch-making maiden post-harvest connect conference and exhibition, but a significant milestone towards our collective aspiration to address some of the most pressing challenges of our time in the post-harvest ecosystem. The Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security's mission is ensuring food security, generating agricultural employment and services, promoting the production and supply of raw materials to agro-industries, providing markets for the products of the industrial sector, generating foreign exchange, and promoting rural socioeconomic development. And we believe together with you all, we can achieve all of this from all our value chain actors working together. The last few months of our assumption of office has witnessed lots of intervention from the dry season program under the National Agricultural Growth Scheme Agro Pocket Program, where we targeted wheat, rice, maize, and cassava production, to our efforts in reversing the very downward trend in mechanization, where we have initiatives such as the Group Greener Hope Initiative, the Green Imperative Program, and of course the John Deere Tractor Scheme which are all in preparation and at advanced stage. We are also looking at the food stabilization scheme where President Bola Metinubu has already ordered the release from the strategic food reserve of 42,000 metric tons of asserted food commodities ranging from uh, maize, sorghum, guinecum, and gari. Let me also say that this program has kick-started and we are targeting the very vulnerable groups across the country. Within this context, we are pleased that many agro inputs, industries, dealers, farmers have been busy ever since. And the critical question to ask is, after we have done all the ramping up of production, what happens after the harvest? Thank you, Post Harvest Connect. I believe this is why this thing is very important. A lot of beautiful statistics have been given, I think from the you know, keynote speaker. And of course, we have here on good authority that of course, post harvest losses range from 5 to 20% for greens, 20% for fish, and as high as between 50 to 60% for tobas, fruits, and vegetables. And I think a lot has been said on that by the last two previous speakers. Therefore, reducing post harvest losses is a critical strategy of ensuring food security for our citizens. Just reducing some percentage points, we add a number, substantial number for that matter, into the supply chain of our food commodity. In the quest to achieve adequate post-harvest loss reduction and deliver on the mandate of the present administration, the Ministry approved this particular first post-harvest connect conference and exhibition, which we are all gathered here to witness. We therefore need to examine and adapt suitable success stories to convince the financial sectors and investors on the transfer and adoption of best practice post-harvest intervention, drawing experience from our country, other countries like India, Brazil, China, and the like. I want to thank our strategic partners, such as the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition, International Institute for Tropical Agriculture, and I think you are welcome, Doc. Nice to see you after a long while. The Sasakawa African Association, Harvest Plus, 
Sahel Consulting, the USID, the United States Agency for International Development, IFAD, International Fund for Agricultural Development, and of course, FAO, the Food and Agricultural Organization. We have always been there for us as we champion sustainable agricultural investment in our country. You all have given strong shoulders for NISPRI to ride on in convening this first post-harvest connect and conference. We wish to see post-conference interventions in our local areas such that when we meet next year, local farmers, processors, investors will have a lot of testimonials to give to us thanks to all the efforts that this you know, connect and conference is going to unveil. I commend the management of the Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria, AFCN, the Nigerian Stock Product Research Institute, and our various departments playing many promotional roles to deepen our interventions to reduce post-harvest losses. I salute your efforts of bringing together researchers, academics, farmers, processors, fabricators, financial institutions, and even the general public to chart a sustainable pathway for mitigating post-harvest losses and ensuring food and nutrition security in Nigeria. Based on the thematic areas of discussion, I want to charge that experts should bring up latest state-of-the-art information. Unfortunately, the uh, keynote speaker did mention that technology is not enough. What is key to the enablement and to success is knowledge, what you are able to do with that knowledge, even when you have it. And therefore, it's a combination of knowledge, skills, competencies, and the will to act. And I pray and hope that all partners will key into this. For us in the Federal Ministry of Agriculture, every single opportunity, every single challenge, we are ready to take it on and ensure that we do the best we can to resolve and bring solutions to our citizens. The Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria, to ensure effective collaboration between all research institutes, colleges of agriculture and universities, and the organized private sectors and investors in ensuring that success is achieved. And here again, I want to say that I align with that submission from the you know, keynote speaker. I think he has properly captured it, showing that you cannot operate in silos. Many of our institutions have been operating in silos. The ministry is interested in the adoption and maintenance of sustainable and functional dry and cold chain storage facilities in the country. The inclusion of digital solutions in Post Harvest Connect has strengthened our position for the critical need for the establishment of a national agricultural data center to attract investors and enhance food and nutrition security in the country. When you have clear information, facts that are verifiable and are actually not in doubt. It becomes a source of analysis by investors and people who are interested in supporting whatever you do. The ministry is working hard to enable a conducive data-driven business environment for agriculture and value chain actors through the ease of doing agriculture project in this year's 2024 budget. We believe it's not enough for us to listen to constraints. We have to find ways of easing those constraints. And to do that, we have packaged a project we call Ease of Doing Agriculture Project that will enable us to deal with the issues both at the national and the sub-national level and across all stakeholders so that we can all work together to solve a common problem. We are ready to support and promote any data-driven post-harvest innovations, solutions, and infrastructures that will, put, that will link producers to processors and marketers at affordable cost. Capacity building for agriculture through Integrated Agricultural Research for Development, IR4D, in post-harvest management among various actors in Nigeria is the best way to go. Let us remember that scaling of post-harvest innovations require productive alliance that rides on the strength of key actors. And I think that, to me, is a validation. 
I am glad to inform you that under the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Metinubu, we have prioritized actions to reduce post-harvest losses using effective storage infrastructure in the country. At the ministry, we recognize that poor post-harvest management has been a critical issue for many years in the agricultural sector and that it severely hampers the productivity of our farmers. Aligning to Mr. President's renewed hope agenda, we have the following priority areas and expected actions to boost agriculture and food security, working with states, local governments, private sector, and our development partners. One, we want to boost processing of key stable foods based on their competitive stroke comparative advantages. Two, construct and manage dry and cold storage facilities or aggregation centers for stable foods in rural, semi-urban, and urban areas. Modernize and enhance food reserves to mitigate food scarcity and maintain stable prices. Four, collaborate with stakeholders to boost production, processing, preparation and consumption of traditional and nutritious commodities to enhance dietary diversity. And last, encourage about fortification and fortification of key staple foods with essential minerals and vitamins. The federal government constructed 33 silos across the country with a total capacity of 1.3 million metric tons. The government had established silos in Bauchi, Gombe, Jigawa, and Yola each with 25,000 metric tons capacity, while those in Yobe and Maiduguri with 25,000 and 100,000 metric tons capacity at various stages of completion, respectively. The, minist the ministry's National Strategic Grain Reserve Program is expected to link up with other organizations for adequate procurement and storage of wholesome and safe food. Ladies and gentlemen, working together and in synergy and close collaboration with some of our intervention projects through our partners, like the Special Agro Agricultural Processing Zone, SAPZ, the Livestock Productivity and Resilience Support Project, LPRESS, and the National Agricultural Growth Scheme, AgroPocket, NACS, AP. We are hoping to use this to reduce post-harvest losses in a very big way. The topics of discussion at the conference range from aflatoxin management to the reduction of pesticide residues with a focus on promoting best practices and innovative solutions. These, according to the stakeholders, will help reduce drastically, if not totally, the elimination of post-harvest wastage. I am Khadija Oluwato Yami. Thank you for watching.